Did you hear from Justin? Mm-hmm. What did he we, say? We talked once, and uh, he said, I, I, you know, I don't know if I should come out and make a statement. Janet Jackson is opening up about her 2004 Super Bowl controversy and where she and Justin Timberlake stand today. The icon recalled the aftermath of her now infamous halftime show wardrobe malfunction, during which guest performer Justin had briefly exposed her breast to more than 140 million viewers, resulting in FCC fines and a major public outcry. In a 2018 conversation with Brother Randy, featured in Janet's four-hour Lifetime and A&E documentary, she revealed she had advised Justin to stay silent at the time because she was already bearing the brunt of the backlash. We, we talked once, and uh, he said, I, I, you know, I don't know if I should come out and make a statement and this and that, or say something, I'd say, have something to say, and I said, listen, I don't want any drama for you. They're aiming all of this at me. So I said, just, I said, I, if I were you, I wouldn't say anything. Justin's career continued to soar after the scandal while Janet's faltered. Within days, she claimed to access Hollywood that she'd been disinvited from that year's Grammys, where Justin not only appeared, but won multiple awards and apologized for the Super Bowl incident during one of his acceptance speeches. The sexy back singer has yet to publicly respond to Janet's documentary revelations, but he did issue an apology to her and ex-girlfriend Britney Spears on social media last year, following the criticism he faced over the bombshell New York Times documentary Framing Britney Spears, writing on Instagram in part, quote, I am deeply sorry for the times in my life where my actions contributed to the problem, where I spoke out of turn or did not speak up for what was right. I understand that I fell short in these moments and in many others and benefited from a system that condones misogyny and racism. I specifically want to apologize to Britney Spears and Janet Jackson both individually because I care for and respect these women and I know I failed. Back in 2018, Justin told Apple Music's Zane Lowe that he had made amends with Janet ahead of his own Super Bowl headlining performance. And Janet's doc, which aired over the weekend, reveals that she opted not to consider reuniting with him on stage at the event, telling Randy that it would have been, quote, dredging up the past. In a video message recorded earlier this year and shown in the special, Janet assured viewers that she and Justin remain in touch and on good terms, and she hopes to put the past behind her once and for all. Honestly, this whole thing was blown way out of proportion. And uh, of course it was an accident that should not have happened, but everyone is looking for someone to blame and that's gotta stop. Justin and I are very good friends and we will always be very good friends. We spoke just a few days ago and he and I have moved on and, and it's time for everyone else to do the same.